My boyfriend, 27 male, didn't propose to me, 26 female, in the agreed upon time, and I feel like I'm going crazy. My partner didn't propose in time, and I'm considering leaving. It's been over eight years. We started dating at 18 in college. I understood that we would have to wait to get engaged because we were so young. However, I feel like that it has been too long. He says we are almost at the finish line, but I keep seeing that line being pushed further and further back. First, we said we would wait until we were financially stable. Then he wanted to go to law school after two years of being out of college. We always said we would be engaged when law school is over, but then the bar exam came and sidetracked that. We recently moved and now we are waiting to see how much our old apartment charges us for damages. My deadline was the day after he graduated. I had already been waiting an extra three years because he chose to go to law school. We have enough money in our bank account. I get that he wants to be extremely financially stable, but it's September and I am breaking. Every time I talk to him about it, it gets pushed further back. He says we are two months away, but I ran out of patience four months ago. It's driving me crazy and I feel like it has ruined the idea of being engaged for me. I wanted it to be spontaneous and out of love, but I don't think that was ever going to happen. I don't think he's scared of marriage. He offers to marry me at a courthouse all the time. I just think he doesn't care about all of the romantic stuff and he's just going through the motions for me. I have been pushed four months past my breaking point and I don't know if I have ruined our relationship by pushing the issue. Right now, it's the point where getting engaged will no longer make me happy. Is it over? Am I just fooling myself? Have I gone mad? I just want to say that I've never given him a deadline. The deadline was for me to leave. It was in my head. My 27 female, soon to be sister-in-law, 22 female, said something about my three month old that made me really uncomfortable. My soon to be sister-in-law, Helen, was over visiting today. Helen loves our three month old and loves being around her. A little info on Helen. She's young, 22. Kind of immature and has terrible anxiety. She babysat our daughter once and my husband's father was there. I was a little nervous to let Helen do it herself because I haven't known her super long. One to two years I think. So it was a good trial of one with grandpa there. I totally trust him. Anyways, we were talking about babies crying and how it can really cause your blood pressure to rise and be sensory overload. Well, at one point, Helen said something along the lines of, She's so precious but sometimes when she cries, it makes me want to just put a pillow over her face. I was shocked. In the moment, I didn't really know what to say or do, so I just laughed it off. But now, I'm completely uncomfortable with Helen ever watching our daughter alone. My husband agrees. Now, here's where it gets tricky. Helen is marrying my husband's brother. Helen currently lives with my husband's sister, Lily. When we were looking for a sitter for the first time, we texted Grandma. Grandpa and Lily purposefully leaving Helen out because I wasn't too sure I wanted her to babysit. Lily couldn't babysit, but since her and Helen lived together, Lily asked Helen and then we felt like it would be rude to say no. And since Grandpa was going to be there, we were okay with it. Now, how do we go about talking to Lily so that we can still have her babysit but let her know not to ask Helen if she's unavailable? Should we even do that to her or just forego asking either of them? Is that too much to put on Lily? I get that people have intrusive thoughts that cross their minds and that just people sometimes think something they never actually do. But to verbalize it about my child to me just made me really uncomfortable. My husband told me he hopes I die during my surgery. I am getting a gastric bypass in two weeks. I have had this plan for over a year when I got insurance. It was a snap decision but my weight has been an issue my whole life and my GP has been pushing me to get the surgery after multiple failed attempts at trying to lose it myself and multiple health issues being made worse by my weight. A year ago I made the decision during my lunch break to get health insurance and the fortnightly payments have pretty much kept me motivated in my journey to better myself because oh my god it's so much money. My husband was so angry when I called and told him I signed up for the insurance. He told me it was a waste of my money and I didn't need to lose weight but after a short argument he didn't bring it up again. Months went by and I forgot about it because I had a whole year to wait before I could do anything but I was taking steps to better myself in other areas. I started dressing nicer and went into a clothes store for the first time in a decade and spent a grand on a new wardrobe which sounds like a lot but I've hated myself for so long I only wore t-shirts and joggers. I went to the hairdresser for the first time in six years. I went to the dentist. I'm looking into maybe braces. I started my bachelor's of data science. Like when I say I have completely taken this as a chance to become a new person, I am not joking. I want to come out of this being proud of who I am and not just the same me in a skinnier body. My husband is not supportive at all of this. Every step of the way, he told me that I'm just doing the wrong thing. I'm spending too much money. The clothes I wear don't look good. I'm not smart enough to do data science. I just ignored it because I thought maybe if I improved myself, it would motivate him to do the same. He doesn't even need to get a better job or anything like that, but maybe he could cook more or do stuff around the house or take care of things I can't because I'm so busy. But he won't. 
Like, we are only 25 and 26. We can do anything we want. Our life isn't over yet, and we have only just started it. He doesn't have to spend the rest of his life doing nothing. The closer we got to my surgery date, the more he would send me videos of bariatric surgery patients telling their stories going wrong to scare me out of doing it. He would tell me statistics of me gaining weight back and that I'll probably still be fat so there is no point. After about a week of this, I snapped and an argument ensued. I called him lazy and said that he's living off my money so I don't know why he complains so much. He told me he hopes I don't wake up from the surgery and walked out. He won't answer my calls now and I think in two weeks I'm going to come back out of surgery without a stomach or a husband. Am I wrong for canceling my birthday party because my parents cut my sister a slice of my custom made cake the night before my party when she cried for it? My sister, 11 female, is the miracle golden child. She always gets what she wants whenever she wants. Evident by the title, my parents are always trying to please her and make her happy. They always make a big effort on her birthday and do whatever that she asks for, but they can barely remember mine and they are always conveniently broke. This year, I wanted to enjoy my birthday, so I babysat and even mowed lawns to make this possible. My birthday was a few days ago and the party was scheduled for the day after. I have been planning for weeks and invited all my friends. I bought the food, snacks, and drinks and picked up my custom-made cake which I was really excited about. It was just perfect. The night before the party, I noticed that my cake, which was in the fridge, had a huge slice missing. When I asked my dad, he shrugged and nonchalantly said that my sister was crying for it and it was just a small piece. My friends wouldn't notice. I yelled at him asking why he would do something like that when it wasn't even bought with his money and that my sister could have waited for tomorrow. This made him angry and he went on a tirade about how I think I'm an adult because of my stupid party implying at the fact that I did everything myself and did not ask them for anything. I ended up calling it off because I was not able to change the location last minute as I didn't have the means to and I was so hurt. I didn't want to host it at home anymore. One of my friends told me that calling it off was just an overreaction and that I could have just gripped my teeth and gone through with doing it at home rather than canceling just hours before. 